a human hankering for eggs may have led to the extinction of a giant dodo-like bird in Australia almost 50,000 years ago. Scientists have revealed that early humans developed a taste for roasting its huge eggs on their campfires, leading to the bird's demise. The gigantic 500 pounds, 227 kilograms, flightless bird, known as Geniornis newtoni, stood 7 feet, 2 meters, tall and laid eggs roughly the size of a cantaloupe melon weighing 3.5 pounds, heavier than an ostrich egg. Now, for the first time, researchers have found the first direct evidence our ancestors played in wiping them out. The giant birds would have roamed the continent with a host of other extinct giants, including a 1,000 pounds kangaroo, a two-ton wombat, and a tortoise the size of a small car. Researchers from the University of Colorado Boulder examined fragments of burnt egg shells to show humans were collecting and cooking the eggs, which would have caused numbers to plummet. Ancient humans are thought to have reached Australia between 40,000 and 60,000 years ago. Their arrival coincided with the extinction of the majority of large species, more than 100 pounds. We consider this the first and only secure evidence that humans were directly preying on now extinct Australian megafauna, explained Professor Gifford Miller, a researcher in geological sciences at Boulder and lead author of the study. We have documented these characteristically burned Geniornis eggshells at more than 200 sites across the continent. The egg fragments were found at 2,000 sites, primarily at sand dunes where the ancient birds nested, and none were found to be younger than about 45,000 years old. Analysis confirmed the burnt shell fragments from more than 200 sites were caused by very hot campfires rather than wildfires and were no younger than about 47,000 years old. Professor Miller added, we can't come up with a scenario that a wildfire could produce those tremendous gradients in heat. We instead argue that the conditions are consistent with early humans harvesting Geniornis eggs, cooking them over fires, and then randomly discarding the eggshell fragments in and around their cooking fires. Scientists have debated whether climate change or human hunting lead to the demise of ancient megafauna in Australia and on other continents, including North America. Professor Miller added that although Australia suffered continental drying from about 60,000 to 40,000 years ago, it likely wasn't strong enough to wipe out the megafauna. He argued that humans arriving on the northern coast on rafts from Indonesian islands several hundred miles away were to blame. We will never know the exact time window humans arrived on the continent, continued Professor Miller. But there is reliable evidence they were widely dispersed across the continent before 47,000 years ago. Finding evidence of hunting in Australia is difficult as its megafauna are much older than New World megafauna and fossil bones are easily destroyed by the chemistry of Australian soils. He added, in the Americas, early human predation on the giant animals in clear, stone spearheads are found embedded in mammoth bones, for example. The lack of clear evidence regarding human predation on the Australia megafauna had, until now, been used to suggest no human megafauna interactions occurred, despite evidence that most of the giant animals still roamed Australia when humans colonized the continent.